Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, our newest Walk of Famer, Eugene Levin! Well, if you know me at all, you know just how uncomfortable a day this is for me, knowing you have all uprooted your schedules to be here, and in particular, my grandson, my little grandson James, because he could be he could be looking at fire trucks right now. But no, he chose to be here. So thank you, James E. Grandpa loves you. Um, well, getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is about as far from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada as, as you can get. Uh, my hometown, Hamilton, was a big steel town when I was growing up, and if you did not want to spend your life in the steel mills or working in the scrap metal business or selling suits in one of Hamilton's fine haberdasheries, you had to get an education and become a doctor or a dentist or a lawyer or an engineer or an accountant. But nobody went into the entertainment business. It just didn't happen in Hamilton in the 1960s. But unfortunately, that's when I got hooked on this business, 1961, when I performed for the first time on stage at Central High. It was a production of uh, The Taming of the Shrew, Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew, and I played the tailor. And it was a small part, I only had one scene, but I remember getting a few laughs in that scene that I'm sure Shakespeare had not intended. <laughs> but even then, the sound of audience laughter had, had a big appeal for me. So, uh, cutting to the chase here, that's how I spent the next 50 plus years working in comedy, playing comedy characters. Um, how rewarding was that? A life spent making people laugh. He's an animal whisperer, a great bowler, a daydreamer, sometimes to a fault, and of course, one of the funniest people I know. And I'm certainly not alone in that sentiment. Dad, we are all so incredibly proud of you and are so thrilled to be here today to watch you receive your star. You've proven that if you put the blinders on, you can achieve anything you want, and I only hope I can show James the very same things he grows up. We love you so much, and we can't wait for people to walk all over you. <laughs> it is really impressive, especially considering the amazing head of hair on his head, both on top and in those eyebrows, that Eugene has always been capable of disappearing into his characters. But I'm so glad we are happily, happily recognizing him today with his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The word something never meant quite so much as it does today. This is really something. Um, it's, uh, you know, had a, had, a, had, had a lot of stuff going on today. It was like, had a nice little little emotional kind of uh, you know rivulet running through running through my system and um, and just a lot of fun I love the way people on the street kind of chime in uh, they got a nice little crowd back here it's all very supportive you know you kind of you feel like a somebody